Welcome. Thank you for joining me on Days Gone. I'm a relatively new player. Um, I've gone through some of the uh, early stages of the game. Uh, I definitely have not played a lot, uh, so I would consider myself a new player. Thanks for joining me. Please do me a favor, jump down in the comments section and throw in a comment uh, about a game that you would like to see streamed more of. If I have it in my collection, I'll add it to my queue of streams and get it up here. Uh, if I don't have it in my collection and it's a decent price or on sale in the PlayStation Store, uh, I'll pick it up, stream it, and come back and discuss. Right now we're doing Days Gone. Uh, I'm going to be playing for maybe about 30 minutes to an hour. Uh, I'm just trying to see exactly what I've been missing and to see if it kind of gets its hooks in. I've been sort of on a zombie... Uh, feeding frenzy uh, of games and media and uh, been watching The Walking Dead. I've uh, been watching some zombie style movies on Netflix and Amazon Prime. Uh, I've been playing some zombie army uh, trilogy. Um, obviously Resident Evil 8, while not really heavy on zombies, more just viral infected um, I guess village people. <laughs> so definitely been on a uh, zombie kick. All right. Uh, I am playing on a PlayStation Five, so frame rate I believe is going to be much higher than it would be on the PlayStation Four. Uh, games I'm looking forward to here in a couple of hours is going to be Mass Effect Legendary Edition, the uh, full trilogy. Sir, your arm's not gonna be fine. Son of a bitch. I gotta find something for his arm. Uh, his mouth is not moving the way his words are coming out. Alright, so very early on in this game. I got a use for you. Yeah, I do enjoy an open world game over a game, say, like Resident Evil 8. Resident Evil 8 is is good on the story, and I did like the ending. I did like uh, some of the things that were going on there, the story that we were telling. Um, but I would prefer it. I mean, I'm surprised they haven't done an open world Resident Evil, but um, I can understand maybe why it would be difficult. Um, it's sort of like Tomb Raider trying to be an open world. I mean, it's done. Boozer, are you awake? Yeah, Deke. What's up? I just saw someone sneaking around the safe house. What the hell? What's he doing? No idea. I'm gonna follow him. See if there's some more where he came from. Deacon out. Come on, sprint. You know, it's, uh... It's taking away my sprint, so this is scripted. There's no way I could catch him any earlier. Uh, so if I sprint, once I uh, reach a specific distance, it slows my sprint down. I don't like it when games do that. You know, I, I know they're trying to tell a specific type of story, but don't force me into um, a narrative that should be able to... I should be able to expedite this encounter. Let's see. So what'd you find? It's just like I said. Those drifters we saw riding on the same bike, they're holed up just up the road. Yeah? No shit. Be nice if I could bring some of these uh what? What's up? zombies around. You know, bring them into the camp and have them like completely tear them apart. Damn it, he's dead. He's dead. What? What's that? You hear something? I'm just going to go uh, right into it. Yeah. 
somewhere in the Why didn't you pursue me? It didn't happen. That's it. That's that's the game. Well, thanks for coming and watching. Uh, days gone. I I hope that you enjoyed the. <laughs> I think I might be playing on a very high difficulty. I don't remember what I started on. What's that? Men coming! Oh, <laughs> well, that's interesting. I did not get the prompt. I'm just going to let him kill me. I did not get the prompt for uh, doing the silent kill. I guess I wasn't silent enough. Maybe I shouldn't be talking. Off. Hey! Hey, how are you? Alright, we're just gonna try to silently kill everybody. I imagine that's the intent of this portion of the game. And really, snapping a neck like that is really not how a neck would snap. So I was on the high ground. Go down into the camp. I don't know what their movement patterns are just yet. Oh, I think I just barely got out of sight of that guy. Why do I feel like Horizon Zero Dawn? Like I'm Aloy right now. Oh. I don't know what your sight cone is. What's that? It was that. That's a knife, and it's in here. Okay. Here she comes. I haven't gotten to a point in Days Gone to where I've seen the large zombie hordes that the game is known for. It feels like a mix between Uncharted and got like an uncharted vibe it's got a um the last of us vibe like you should have seen me out of the corner of his eye is <laughs> not how the neck would break. That's the last of them. Must have followed us here. Sons of bitches. Stay the hell off O'Leary Mountain. Boozer, I found the camp. Just a few drifters looking to move in in our safe house. Like we were seeing before. It's time to start thinking about heading north. Let's get your arm fixed up, and then worry about hitting the road. I'm gonna be heading to my bike, deacon out. Ah, oh, damn freakers. Now, I've gotten to the point where I chase this guy to the camp where my bike is out, and I think that is about as far as I've ever gotten in Days Gone. Um, again, Days Gone uh, became a free game, I think, on PlayStation Plus. That's where I got it from. I definitely added it to my collection, made sure it was in my library, but never really played it. Um, I think because I got a PlayStation 5, I've been... If it's not the freaks, it's the goddamn rain. Why is it always raining? Because I got the PlayStation 5, I've been trying a bunch of games that I had on PlayStation 4 just to see how they run, and I think that's why I tried coming back to it. Yeah, I think I don't have much of a choice here. I thought that I could come up this way. Which is kind of a surprising thing sometimes in video games. Um, where they kind of uh, prevent you from... Like, I could easily, as a player, I mean as a character, as a human being, I could easily climb up over these rocks 
and avoid whatever it is that they're forcing me with this little blockade here. I don't know if there's some way I can manipulate. Like for some reason, I can't Got it. Like jump up here. I have no idea. I know that he can scale things. I know that this would be such an easy way to avoid enemies, but they've put this here so that I interact with these. That's why I love games like Immortals Phoenix Rising and Zelda Breath of the Wild um, and the Assassin's Creed games. When they give you the ability, now sometimes they take it away, uh, but when you're able to go everywhere, gotta get to my bike. Gotta get to my bike. Getting closer. Getting closer. <sighs> I think with these freaks, as they're called, I can do silent kills like that. Oh, darn it. Right, we're just gonna hook it. <sighs> Gotta get close. Come on, baby, where the fuck are you? Yeah, I don't think there's any jumping at all in the game, I guess. Rolling. This is it. This is where we left it. Not here anymore. My bike's gone. And then he'll meet some guy like running in the area and like, hey, come back here. And then it runs to this group that he already Fuck. knows. So we already know that. Damn it, Copeland. Hey, you're from Copeland's camp. Where the hell is my bike? How the heck Stop can you even God tell that? I didn't take your bike, man. I swear. I'm not gonna okay. kill you. Well. Stop running. Gonna try to kill you. You gotta ask Copeland. I don't know nothing. Hey! I just want my bike. I didn't do nothing. Oh god damn it, alright now I'm gonna kill you. <sighs> Another one of those kind of scripted Boozer, I can't there? get yeah, do you, anyway. Do you bike? Nope. Copeland's men got to it before I did. I'm heading to his camp. Here, I'll out. sprint, and then once I get to a specific distance, it'll cut off my sprint right there. I, like, give me the, give me the chance to get to catch him, catch up with him, and then if I catch him, then all I do is, all right, we're going to Copeland's camp. Let's go, and then you just take him there, and then maybe if I run up to him fast, I have to hold him at gunpoint and then walk him over there, or you just catch up to him. There's a there's a mini cutscene, very simple to put together, and then you just sort of walk stage left and then it brings you right to here but like, it's like I'm just going to walk up. I'm gonna walk fast hey John, is that you? some son of a bitch stole my bike I don't know nothing about that you gotta go talk to man <laughs> okay yeah that's where I'm headed your mouth does not voice the words that are coming out of your mouth Hey, Manny. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while lately. You've been too busy to notice. Nose down. You work hard, they feed you. Yeah, camper's life. Yeah, camper's life. Look how that range just once. coming out of nowhere. The art of bike repair. You ever read it? No, I didn't have a lot of time for books back in the day. Yeah, I ran a shop. Farewell. Made all the grease monkeys read it. Being a mechanic requires great peace of mind, it said. Try working on an empty stomach. That'll focus your mind. Man, I'm looking for a bike. Yeah? Oh. Oh. Well. You don't want that one. Why not? It, it just came off the truck. I mean, some dumb son of a bitch left it out in the shit. Rusted up good. It rode hard, too. The fool that rode it didn't know shit about bikes. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Shot the hell of this one. I mean, we just partied it out. 
Mm, it didn't even have a fuel pump. We could have used oh, that. Man, fuel pump like this one? O okay. Like this one, Manny. O okay, okay. See, now when I said fool, what I meant was the fools that brought that bike in. See, they didn't tie that shit down properly, so they left it like rattling around back there. Hey, and let's talk. This is the guy that does the voice for Togusa in Ghost in the Shell anime. You know, the English voiceover. Looks like you had some trouble. Got hit hard last night. Rippers again. Twice now they've been up here. Since Not Deacon, but... The guy's talking now. this shit, folks say a lot of things. Folks around here take care of their own. They go enough days without food. Well, let me see how it is. Lake not holding out? We get a fair amount of trout. Lake's fed by snowmelt. No one left a stock of fish. Gonna run out sooner or later. Like everything else. Used to go hunting out here with the old man. We build deer blinds out here. Put down salt licks below us. We pick them off clean. Some winners had so much venison we couldn't eat it all. I didn't think that was legal. Deer baiting back in the day. My old man had only one law. The United States Constitution. If he could only see us now. America. Land of the free. We are that. You don't mind if I get up there first, do you? Saw Leon the other day. Yeah? He was bringing me something. Is that right? Folks here in a lot of pain, Deke. Oh, Leon. <laughs> Doug said that he took off. No one's seen him. Hmm. <laughs> Tell you what. You find his stash. You bring it to me. To me, Deke. You do that. Well. We'll see what we can do for you. The bike that your men stole, that your men parted out. Salvage, Deke. Salvage. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll try to keep that in mind. By the way, nice hat. What? No, this one. Don't you ever touch Now, hold on. Leon wore a hat like this, didn't he? Oh, Cope, I swear to God. Don't. You want to do business in my camp? You start doing some runs for me. Poop. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. I'm here anyway. What do you got? Now that's more like it. A group of drifters has been harassing my supply runs. They've moved into the radio tower west of O'Leary Mountain. Isn't that your backyard? No, it's not, but... Uh, I'll take care of them. I thought you might. So the voice we're hearing is uh, of Copeland is Crispin Freeman. Um, he was he's usually the voice for Togusa and Ghost in the Shell, um, but I mean he's he's done other games. Um, I think he was even in uh, um, the Yakuza game. Um, I don't remember which one. It was like the offshoot of Yakuza games. Um, but yeah, he's done uh, the voice here, so he's, he's a very recognizable voice because I love the Ghost in the Shell standalone complex animation. Birthday, Cope. Huh. Guess he, uh, yeah, kid. No idea what you just said. Uh, Cope, I guess no one's taking our guns away now, are they? I guess that's uh, data. Progress collectible. Neon crude drawing. Copeland, Copeland. United States Bill of Rights. Well regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Never infringe upon that. All right. Copeland hunting season. A birthday card for Copeland. Found in Copeland's camp. 
bunch, bunch of stuff I still need to collect. Let some air get to the fire. Holes in the barrel. Alright, so drifters on the mountain. I do like the uh, the swiping of the touchpad. That's really cool. Um, let's see here. Like the the menu system is very smooth. Doesn't feel like it's takes any time out of the game's system to get into it. That's a that's a good menu. Uh, trophies. Bunch of stuff here. we got here is the map. Alright. So let's go back over here. Story progress. Drifters on the mountain. Head out on foot to retrieve your bike. I did that. Now I'm doing what? Okay. Um, return to Manny. Okay. Camp merchants and camp merchants sell guns, ammo, and supplies. If you have enough credits and trust, higher trust levels will unlock access to new items. Purchasing a gun automatically adds it to your gun locker. What can I get you? Um, my bike, I guess. What? Not enough credits? No, not enough uh, tolerance for you guys Stop stealing wasting. my bike. Yo, Dick, Dick, uh, hold up. I just want to say how sorry I am. I, I didn't know, I swear. Do you have any idea how much time I put into that bike? It was a drifter bike, Manny. I know, I know. I I'll make it up to you, I swear. I, I put together a new one. <laughs> you call this piece of shit a bike? I know, it's not. Look, I'll keep an eye out for, for more parts. I'll hook you up, I swear. Okay, and what about my custom gas tank, Manny? You know, the one that I got for my dead wife. You gonna keep an eye out for that one, too? Jesus, Deke, I'm sorry. Just get the fuck out of my way. And I told you I... Mission complete, Drifters on the Mountain. Accelerate, tap to drift. Okay, drifting while turning can help you take corners. Here. Lost bike. Uh, if you've lost your bike after either at the bottom of a lake, somewhere off a cliff, or in the vastness of the farewell wilderness and are still close to it, you can use the map to recover it to a nearby location. Booster, you there? Yeah, Deke. How you doing? How's the arm? Like I said, I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, I'm still gonna head to that Nero checkpoint, find some uh, sterile bandages, uh, ointment, something. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'm gonna go out. Make sure the mountain's clear. Uh, who's your... No, no, those are third degree burns. You stay there, you rest, okay? I'll, I'll be there as soon as I can. I guess. Um... I guess, uh, you know, I could, I could use something for the pain. Yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess I'll see what I can find, I guess. 
Guess, guess, guess. Hey, John. This is Cole. When you get to the tower, my radio uplink has been shut down. I'll pay you to restore it. So these men, you know them because shutting down radio free Oregon seems kind of personal. Goddamn right it's personal. They used to be a part of my camp. Seems they didn't like the rules against stealing, raping, murdering. Well, maybe they're like me, just tired of listening to your paranoid truth or bullshit. St. John out. Jesus, that short little distance took 20% of my fuel. Wow. This is it, the Nero checkpoint. I gotta find some shit for Boozer's arm. Could make something out of this. Now, I would agree that when characters... See see how he can climb here? Like, why couldn't he have done that, in that over that rock, you know? Yeah, there should... There should definitely be a jump. No idea why there's not. Locked tight. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's simple, I guess. I'm definitely on a harder difficulty setting. Uh, Alright, so... Bugged the hell out. Restore power to the Nero Mobile Medical Unit. And how do I do that? Must be a generator or something. I got a use for you. Yeah, any. You can check out back in. Easy bad bad bit a bit. Um can I craft it? That craft it again. Craft it again. I think I have Molotov. Alright. So bat is probably a good idea for a couple of these. Bingo. Here it is. I do like that the load times are Fast. Nothing I hate more than a freaking death and then Okay, so these things never die. Wow. Ability meter may the weapons found in the field break easily. Really great. That's awesome. I'm glad that they they break in combat. Make sure you pay attention to the weapon durability meter. If there's a blinking red icon, there's only a few hits left before it breaks. That's great. I love things that break. So melee is pretty much useless in the game, uh, especially for these uh, higher difficulty settings, I imagine. So I'm going to avoid doing melee, and it looks like I'm just going to be a sneaking master. Um, I guess that's going to be the point of the game. Which is complete mess. That's like that's completely messed up. That right there should have taken him out. Like, he should be done. He should be down, out, but... I, I guess maybe it's the difficulty set, setting that I've chosen. Oh, what the heck? Like, is this is this a product of the difficulty setting that I'm on? 
Because I don't care how many like difficulty settings that you go up. Like if if I can't kill them, then melee weapons mean nothing. And then it forces me to play stealth. So yeah, not a fan. Guess not. It can't get in there. Again, I've mentioned before that I should probably call my channel the Frustrated Gamer because I can get frustrated with a game really, really quick when it does things like this. Like it, like I know it's a difficult setting, but don't make killing things um, unnecessarily uh, difficult. Like that's unnecessary. Might be useful. I can understand, like if I'm uh, like I have lower health, I'd just make it more realistic. But all right, let's. I guess we'll we'll try shooting. Let's see if that these things are bullet sponges. So what is my dodge capability? Zero. I have zero dodge capability. All right. I I'm glad that the loading screens are fast. If the loading if there was a loading screen for every time that I died, I would be done with this game right away. There's nothing I hate more about games that punish you doubly um, because you died. Um, and also, I guess there's my dodge. Okay. I still think it very, very weird. So, I don't know, let me walk up. Let me try to stealth kill one of these guys. Well, I mean, you've already seen me stealth kill guys. Like, if I can stealth kill something, then maybe three or four... Oh, crap. I guess I'm shooting this guy. Welcome to the Frustrated Gamer channel. Alright. Higher difficulty settings certainly take, um, I guess, force players to really approach a game differently. But as you can see, like a, a single like swipe or a stick of the knife, right, seems to kill these things outright. Um, seems like a bullet shot to the head kills them, but 27 or more like shot like bashes with a bat do absolutely nothing. There should be one more around here somewhere. I'm supposed to get power to this thing. I guess it's this thing. Come on, you son of a bitch, you better start. Needs fuel. There we go. Okay. There's a 
fuel or kerosene? Check the vehicles here. Let's see. Right, that's at a hundred percent, though. Ammo. What? It might be the product of the difficulty. <laughs> One round inside of an ammo can. on toilet paper. Maybe. Ooh, looks nice. I'll take that over a bat. I think I'm looking for fuel. Can of fuel. <sighs> Alright, looks like he is uh, going for the. Sterile bandages, where the hell would they keep this shit? This will help. So I'm I'm kind of laughing at the fact that I was previously trying to loot some things around the world, but it says I was full already. Like I, I mentioned before, like oh I don't I can't pick up any more toilet paper, and then suddenly I'm able to pick up sterile bandages, and I'm able to pick up a hypo sprayer, like a Nero injector. Like those are scripted moments. Nero. Let's do health. Injector of some kind. Oh, yeah, just it was about due for a flu shot. <laughs> like there's this uh, viral outbreak that are again, I'm not 100 percent sure on the story, but there's a viral outbreak going on, and there's a bunch of uh, freaks, zombies walking around. Sleeping do? Use the bunk at safe locations like bunkers or the safe house to sleep in advanced time. Some challenges, like infestations, can be approached differently depending on time of day. Additionally, progress. Additionally, 
Progress can be saved when near a bunk. It's like Loser says, you're here a bunk, call my name. I don't know why I'd want to sleep here, you know, yeah. Why I'd want to sleep when there's things going on outside that completely kill me. Yay, daytime. Ready to go back at it. <clears throat> Ready to go back at it. I'm gonna sleep again. Yeah, we, oh, I just gotta rest in here, yeah. Alright, yeah, let's get out. Get, get back. Get it, get it. Ugh. Watch my bike be gone. <laughs> He's so funny. Boozer, you there? Boot. Saving game at bike. To a quick save after your bike, hold triangle. Does not work while in combat or in a mission. Boozer, goddammit, answer me. Roger, but picking up. Where's the bomb power to be spared? Alright. That was a quick save. Eighty-one percent. Very, very surprised by that. Oh, I can fix this. Good. I'm repairing. I can. Is there fuel left in that fuel tank? Look. Clipping of that blade is way noticeable. Nice if they told me how much fuel was in there. Definitely hear fuel sloshing around inside the tank. So there better be some that I can pour into this. Like, I think it would be okay to actually put a percentage on this tank. Like, how much fuel is actually inside this, uh... Alright, uh, just a circle button to drop. No. What, how do I drop this? Okay. Um... Oh, if I could strap that tank to my bike. All right, so let's look at the map. It's pretty much telling me to go straight up through the woods. Wanna be on that side? When they left, it appears they may have stolen some automatic rifles and a few shotguns. Watch yourself. Jesus, Coke, thanks for the heads up. I do what I can. Go back. Do what you can, son. Let me go into setting. Options. 
display, audio, gameplay, disabled, aim, dead zone, camera, follow tracking, previous, camera follow tracking. I don't want that. the survival 2 so I'm on order survival 2 is removing the map stuff Hey, Boozer. I, uh, found some shit for your arm. Boozer? Oh, shit. Boozer! Hey! Whoa, ah! um, hurry! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, shit! Oh, shit, Deke. Oh, You've blown your goddamn head off. Look, uh, let me, let me see that arm, huh? No, no, I got Come this. on, let me see that arm. Come on, got it. all right! <laughs> Deke. Thanks, brother. Look, I'll, I'll be better, okay? I'm gonna be fine. Ninety percent. What makes it ninety percent versus a hundred? All right, there's a little bit of days gone. Um, thanks for joining me. I'll return to it uh, at another time. Um, I'm really kind of anticipating <laughs> Mass Effect Legendary Edition and kind of jumping back into the Mass Effect trilogy. And what I'll probably do is end up playing Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3. And then going to play some Andromeda, which I liked. Um, and that'll kind of take me through to Biomutant on the 25th. Because I think I'm pretty much done with Resident Evil 8, Immortals Phoenix Rising. I'm pretty much done with Cyberpunk 2077. Um until they, you know, release new stuff and make the game better. There's just too much stuff in that game that needs to be added. And I'm not talking about, like, all the things people feel were cut um, and the things that were actually cut. But, you know, I would just like the AI to improve and then also stat tracking. Like, I want to know how many enemies I've killed, how much money I've spent, what distance I've traveled, how many times... Uh, I've died, and then who's killed me the most? And then how many, um, you know, of each type of the gang members? You know, how many Tiger Claws? How many Maelstrom I've killed? How many kills I've done with a specific weapon? How many headshots I've had? What my accuracy is? What my longest uh, distance shot is? How far I've driven? What my favorite car is? You know, those kinds of stats are, are nice. Kind of show a history of things. And sometimes people will jump back into a game to just... See if they can rack up hundreds and hundreds of kills or a certain amount of money. So, like when games have stat tracking, because they obviously can, because like CD Projekt Red has released a couple of uh, like community posts where some two million times they've uh, defeated a boxer in the game. Like you're tracking that stuff, but you're not letting us view it. Like, WTF. I know, obviously the game has this uh, component that obviously sends data out, right? And they can track all that stuff. So if you're tracking all that stuff yourself, why can't the player view that data? Why can't the player see what their own stats are? 
But again, a game should always track a player's stats, you know, the time that they've put into the game. So, I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching me get into Days Gone. Um, I hope you uh, leave a comment in the comment section. And if you haven't done so already, hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you're notified when I do go live. Uh, next games I'm going to be going live with are uh, just some stuff in my collection. And then when Mass Effect launches, uh, probably here in about the next two hours, uh, I'll be streaming bits and pieces of that. I don't think I'm going to stream my entire playthrough. but All right, thanks. I'll see you on the next stream.